All right, here we have a couple of Canadian coins here. Some really nice old ones. Let's see if we can find. This is George V. Some of these are worth a lot. I'm just trying to see if there's any markings at all. Oh, the patina on this one's so much better. This one's clearer. Also George V. Very nice. A couple of good old coins, huh? All right, let's flip them over and see what we have for dates, huh? All right. Flip them like this. we have a one cent Canadian 1917. It's a little bit rougher, huh? Look at that. The way the leaves are. And then we have a one cent 1920. Well, those leaves stayed in good condition. I wonder why one would and one wouldn't. Look at that. Hmm. Only a three year different. That nice to check out some of the old coins. And that one there, that's a hundred years old. This one's 97 years old. Close. Wow. Really cool to have two old ones like that. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. Share this video with other coin collectors. Might like to see these old Canadian one cent coins. Good old ones here. And be sure to check out the description in this video as I have three books up for sale. Two are true stories. One of the true stories was picked up by a screenplay writer. And the other is a craft book for teachers, grade K through 6. So you'll find the ISBN numbers right in the description of this video. So grab those ISBN numbers. Get yourself a good read from your favorite book spot. If you're ordering online, Amazon has it. All right, bye-bye now. All right, here we have a George V. Big penny coin. Look at that. A little bit of wear to it. The right patine. But when you're talking a coin that's a hundred years old, this is really good. Very good condition. This coin is a 1917 big one penny. Look at that. Cool. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more old coins as we find them. Love bringing the old stuff to you. Hope you enjoy my bringing the old stuff to you. And be sure to check out the description in this video, as I have three books out for sale. Two are true stories. One of the true stories was picked out by a screenplay writer. And the other is a craft book for teachers, grade K through 6. So check the description out so that you can grab those ISBN numbers. So you can order yourself up a good book. Bye-bye now. Wow, look at this. What a beautiful coin. Nice patine and everything to it. It's a 1920 5 cents Cuba coin. Look at that. A star with a V for 5. 1920. All these extra little numbers here. That goes this way. 
250M. I wonder if that means anything. Or what it means, I should say. If you happen to know, go ahead and leave it in the comment. It's rather interesting. This side here has 5.0G. Huh. It's probably what it's made of. Huh. Interesting. Alrighty, and here's the back side of this coin. To let you know it's Cuba. Beautiful, isn't it? Very nice. Love it. Very nice coin. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and check out the description in this video as I have three books out for sale. You can read a little bit more about them and collect the ISBN numbers. Get it at your favorite bookstore. Alright, be sure to share now. Bye bye. Look at this beautiful coin. George V, King, Emperor. What a beautiful coin. Look at that. Look at the design of it. It's not going to be round. It's not going to be square. It's just got the beautiful ruffles going all the way around. Beautiful coin. Very distinguished looking. Very nice. One of the great old ones, you want to see how old it is. It's, it's a little bit light. It's a one Anna. And look at this, 1918. Look at that. I don't know what all the writing around it is. But look at that, a 1918. India, one Anna. Very nice coin. Very good condition. Nicely designed. Love it. Alright. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And by all means, check out the description of this video. I have three books I've written myself. Two are true story. And one is a craft book for teachers. The ISBN numbers are all there. So you can order it at your favorite bookstore. All right, bye-bye now. All right, here we have two nice and old Canadian coins. Well, you can see it lost a little bit of its curve right there. So he's been through a little bit more hard time than the other one. It does look smaller in the, in the picture. Well, the other one looks a little bit bigger. So there's a little difference. This one's, this one here is like more close up of a picture than what this one is. So let's check out the other side. Oops. Okay, and this one is a 1909 one cent. And this one, ooh. Okay, this one's a little, hmm, looks like a 1903. Hmm, look at that. That's the E for one. Scent. Oh, maybe that's a four. I don't know. Guess we won't know. Not totally sure, huh? Huh. Okay. Well, he's seen better days anyhow. Completely round, not like this one. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Be sure to join me as a friend and check out the description in this video. 
since I have three books up for sale, read a little bit more about them, grab those ISBN numbers, order yourself up a good read. All right, bye-bye. All right, here we have some old pennies. They're one pennies. Here we have a 1914. We have a 1918, and we have a 1929, this one's in rather good shape here, and another 1929, rather good shape. Big old one pennies. Bigger than what they make them today for sure, huh? And look at this one. 1936. Alright. Now let me flip them all over for you. show you this side of them. All right. This first one is a 1914 one, which makes them 102 years old. Much better condition on this side than the other side. And this one here was a 1918. This was the 1929. I mean, you can really see all the details of this one. Very good condition. Here's the other 1929. Very good. And this one here was the 1936. All right, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these five to you. If you know of any coin collectors, send them the video. Sharing is really nice. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, you know how you can supersize your fries at McDonald's? Well, you can supersize your quarters, too. This is a 19... 16 super big quarter call it quarter dollar 1916 if you notice there was a time in history and stuff that in God we trust the trust instead of the U was a V okay but here is quarter dollar a quarter 19 16. Look at that. Isn't that big? It's about three inches. That's how big. Can you imagine carrying that in your pocket? Just a quarter. But in the back day, in 1916, a quarter was a lot of money. So you got to look at that value, too. But to carry these great big quarters in your pocket was something else, I tell you. Of course, to have a quarter in 1916, you didn't want to lose that. So maybe big helped you not to lose it. Let me show you the back side. This big quarter. All right. There you go. And that's the back side. All the beautiful stars and everything. All right. This one was so big, it had to have its own video. Alright, so there's a little bit of history here. So share this with others. So they can see and look on a yardstick to see how 
three inches is really big for it to be just a quarter. I know a lot of the young people can't imagine that now, but this is a 1916 quarter dollar. All right. Stay tuned for more. Be sure to sub me now because there's more coins to come. Bye-bye. Well, look at this one. This is a 1916 five-cent coin. Look at that. And that's not a shadow right there. That happens to be the way the coin is for 1916. Usually you find these as the big pennies and everything, but it actually says five cents. It's a nickel. Alright, and this is the other side of that coin. Also a Francaise coin. A beautiful 1916 coin. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend as we travel around the world looking at some old coins, just like we do the stamps and souvenir folders and postcards. We travel all over the place looking at all kinds of stuff. So make sure to share my channel with others. I want to look at the old vintage stuff. Okay, bye bye. All right, look at this coin. Really nice. Look at that. It's got the crown, the cross emblem, beautiful leaves. Isn't that an elegant looking one? All right, I want you to notice. The markings down here. I think it's supposed to be XM, but it does look like a Y upside down and an M. Interesting, isn't it? Very different. I wonder why that's there. If you happen to know, go ahead and leave it in a comment. Beautiful coin. Now you want to see the year? 1919. Look at that. And there's an R for that. Isn't that something? XM for the other one. 1919 R for 20 cents. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. I hope you found this one interesting. I think the extra little markings make it rather interesting as to why do they have them, huh? All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. We'll bring you some more of whatever we find. Bye-bye now. All right, here we have three 1918 coins with the hole in the middle. Because back in the old days, they used to put it on a string, you know, and tie it to their belt buckle. I mean, belt uh, hooks. Keep it in their pocket. That way they didn't lose their money. So I have one that's five and two tens. As you can see, here's the five. Nineteen. Eighteen. Very neat, ain't that? Okay, let's see the other side. Just 
the RF. And here we have the other one of the tens. It's also 1918. And the other ten is also a 1918. I believe they both have just same simple design on the other side. Yep, of the RF. Simple design. Of course, when I turned it back, I turned it wrong. Okay, and this one too. The same. Okay. There we go. How's that for a couple of really cool coins? Kind of neat, really. I like it. Very nice. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. We'll bring you some more old coins as we find them. Really cool to find. They're pretty, too. Nicely designed. Look how they have like an extra little rim design around it. It's really neat. Alright, so one five cents and two ten cents. Alright, be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and check the description of this video because I have three books that I've written myself for sale. Two are true stories and one's a craft book. And you'll find the ISBN numbers there so that you can order it at your favorite bookstore. Alright, bye bye now. Alright, here we are with two of these old vintage coins. A couple of nice ones right there, huh? Very old. So this is one side of the coins. George's... I don't know, can't pronounce it. <laughs> I'll call them a couple of crowns. They're both different, you know, if you notice the crowns on them are both a little bit different. But of course it's the same fella. Just with a different uniform and a different crown. Alright, and here we have here we go. So we have this one here. This one here says 1912. For this one. Canada. And this one. I'm not sure. Oh, looks like a 1912 also. Look at that. Okay. So here we have some 1912 Canadian coins. Great. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. And we'll bring you some more of the old coins whatever we come across. Alright, bye bye now. All right, look at this beautiful Jamaica one penny coin. Look at the patine of it all. Still pretty good. Really nice. Look at all the extra little fanciness all around it. That is pretty. All right, let me show you the other side. Look at that. It's 
1920. George V. King, an emperor of India. Wow. That is a really neat coin to have. Alright. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. Alright. Bye-bye now. Alright. Here we have a 1913. Old one penny. One of the big old pennies. Look at that. You can still see the details pretty good, huh? 1913, that's a hundred and... four years old? Look at that. To still see coins that old, huh? Isn't that neat? Wow. Alright, let me show you the other side. And there's your usual. And now see, I had another coin that his mustache just hang, hung over really, really bad in the design of the coin. This one is perfect. So you might want to check that other one. It also didn't have a hole in it either. All right. I like that. The design of the ear really shows up. His hair might be gone, but his ears are really there. <laughs> All right. I still prefer this side of the coin. I like this side. Not only because it has 1913, and 13 is my lucky number, but it just has so much more in it. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more old and vintage coins. Alright, pass it along to others now. Bye-bye. Alright, here we have a lovely Canadian coin. Look at that. It's crowned a patine. Really, really good. Not too much wear and tear to it. Really looks good. Nice. Let me show you the other side. Gotta turn it over the right way first, huh? There you go. 1918. Almost looks like it's an S instead of an 8, huh? Look at that. Almost looks like 19... Very good condition. I mean, look at that. Both sides really good. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more. All right. Bye-bye now. All right. Look at this one. Very super thin Francaise coin. Isn't that beautiful? Very nice old one. How many of you can already guess what year this is? Just by looking at it. The early 1900s. And this coin is very thin. I mean, it's very nice. The patine's really nice. It's not all scratched up or worn right out. Really shows pretty good. It's a nice one. Look how thin it is, though. Very, very thin. Nineteen fourteen. Look at that. Very beautiful. Very elegant. 
It's not one on this side. A lot of them that old, you know, because you're talking 103 years old. A lot of them are worn out on one side or the other. As you can hardly see, but this one here you can see clearly on both sides. Two centimeters. 1914. Beautiful. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and as always, share with others. Okay, bye-bye. Wow, look at the beauty of this coin. Look how nicely designed that is. Beautiful crown. It's got a nice patine to it. Really old. Look at that at the bottom. It's what, it's got 8M. All right, so it's a morning coin. All right, how's that? Get up in the morning, put your crown on. That's an AM coin. That's cute. All right, let's check out to see how old this coin is. Beautiful AM coin, huh? Look at that. It's a 20. It's a 1919R. Wow, that is cool. 20 cents. We don't have coins that are 20 cents. Cool. 1919 R. Well, how do you like that, huh? Isn't that a beauty? Love it. All right, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. Share this one with other coin collectors. I think they'd like to see this one. It's got nice patine to it. A little warm, but not that bad. All right, be sure to check the description of this video as I got three books for sale. The ISBN numbers are all there and a little information about each of them. All right, bye-bye now. Wow, look at this coin. Isn't that a beauty? Republic de Cuba. That is really nice. Very nice condition. A little bit of the patine to make it stand right out. What a beautiful coin. I love it. Alright, let's look at the other side of it. Ooh, look at the year. It's a 1916 star with a V for five. Very nice. Don't you just like the design? Nicely designed. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing it to you. Be sure to check out the description of this video because I have three books to sell. They're my books. Two are true stories and one is a craft book and I would appreciate your support so you'll learn a little more about it learn something about me and there'll be the ISBN numbers so you can order it from your favorite bookstore or online of course isn't this coin of beauty love it all right be sure to share the video now bye bye All right, here we have a couple of old Canadian coins. King George the Fifth. Ah, these are different, huh? They're not the sixth or the seventh. These are the fifth. Neat. All right, let's check the back side of them. One set, 1918. Oh, beautiful. How do you like that? A couple of one cent Canadian coins. 1918. Really nice. We'll leave one turn this way just so you can see both sides. There you go. One of each. How's that, huh? 
That's beauty. It's nice to have such old coins. 99 years old. Can you imagine that? Have something from almost 100 years ago. That is so cool. Great to have. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. Share this with other friends. Let them see some of these good old coins. Who was on them. How nice they are. So it's King George V. Alright. Be sure to sub me now. Join me as a friend. And check out the description in this video. Because I have three books that's up for sale. Grab those ISBN numbers. Get them at your favorite bookstore, online, or wherever. Any of the bookstores. And have yourself a good read. Two are true stories, and the other is a craft book. Alright, bye-bye now. Alright, here we have an Italia coin here. A really old one. And it's just holding some wheat. Very different. This is quite the old coin, too. Let me show you the other side. Look at that. It's a C20. 1912R. I think what's also amazing is right here. The extra added piece here. Okay, of course there's some extra little writing down there too. I know to coin collectors all this really matters. All the little fine details. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. It's a really nice old piece. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. By all means, share the video with others. And check the description for three of the books that I've written myself. With the ISBN numbers, you can get them at your favorite bookstore. Two of them are true stories, and one is a craft book for K through 6. Alright, bye-bye now. Alright, here we have five King George V, 1913 Canada coins. Look at the condition of them. They're all very nice. Great condition. Some a little bit better than others. Details are much better in that one. Look at that. This one's a little bit on the worn, a little, not too bad, huh? So pretty good condition. Okay, let me show you the back side. Put them all over for you. I think this one was the best front one as far as 
details showing up. Hmm. Yeah. All right, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. And by all means, share the video with others. Let them see some good old Canadian coins. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, here we have a few more foreign coins to show you. This is 2002. It's for people who like to see foreign coins, but these are really tiny. They're just little coins. That one cent, and then in the coin, it's like they put another coin in. Ain't that something? That's cool. Very different to look at, isn't it? All right. This one's a 1950. This is a German coin. And it has a one. It's just so tiny. I get a kick out of how small they are. Okay, here we have another one. Oh, I guess this coin needs to go this way, maybe? No. I know the buildings go that way. It looks like the buildings in the background's this way. But the coin is actually maybe this way. I don't know. Isn't that a strange coin? Huh. Okay. It's got some numbers or something there. Oh, those are the legs of it. Isn't that something? Like the first picture, it's like a 2D. First picture you definitely see needs to go this way. But then, turn the coin around. And if you look at the background there, right there, these looks like buildings in the background. Interesting. Alright, you know something about that. By all means, leave it in a comment. You can all learn from that. 1975. Singapore. Ah. Okay. Oops, 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 oops. That's that little coin. They're so tiny. Gotta catch up with them. Okay. We have this one here. over and see what we got here. A nineteen sixty three. All right, here we go to another. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. Looks like it was an M single. Centavos, 1973. Look at that. Detail of even the earrings and everything. Very nice coin. And this is the back side. Mexico. So 1970, another Mexico, little coin, and we have another one, 1972.
And this one here, look at this. And it's funny to find it so tiny. Because usually you'll find this in the great big pennies. Okay. 1917. But it's just a tiny little penny. It's not the big pennies. It's a tiny one. Yes. Is that in 17 or is it 15? 1917. But it's just a little penny. I found that really strange. That's why I want to make sure this was the, the last one you got to see on this because he's tiny. A very small penny. Okay. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more. Alright, bye-bye now.